Good evening and welcome to the Bundesliga playoffs as the Berlin Flamingos prepare for their first postseason game in franchise history against the Paderborn Untouchables. I thought they got drawn against the Mainz Athletics. Are we sure? They did get drawn against the Mainz Athletics, so why are they playing Paderborn? We don't know. Does anybody know? No? Alright, well let's just go with it then and enjoy some postseason baseball. Hi hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode 15 of the Berlin Flamingos on the Baseball Journeyman. Today, it's some postseason baseball. Now, despite being drawn against the Mainz Athletics and being the wildcard team, which should mean, by all logic, that we play the uh, Turbogen Hawks, we're actually playing the Paderborn Athletics today, and I don't really understand <laughs> why that is. Uh, my, I'm thinking here... Is this, so we played once against Paderborn, once against Mainz, and then there's two scheduled games against uh, Tabagen or whatever, however you say that. So I'm wondering if the way that this actually works, and if you are familiar with the uh, Bundesliga playoff system, then please do let me know in the comments. If you actually, looks like you actually play each other once. You can see here by on the things, so Berlin at Paderborn, Mainz at uh, Turbogen, Paderborn at Turbogen, Berlin at Mainz, uh... Paderborn at Mainz and Turbogen at Berlin. So it looks to me as though we, we, we have away games because we had the worst record of the three. Um, and then if so, then my thinking is that so if we are, uh, I'm assuming against the Mainz Athletics in terms of whoever has the most wins in the postseason, go, you know, gets gets ahead. And we'll only play the th the second game against Turbogen if, if it's required, if one or both teams need the result. But I don't, it would make a little bit more sense to me if we were drawn against uh, Tubergen. And we, so we had two games against them. So if we both had well, sort of won one, lost one of the other ones, I don't know. Anyway, I don't understand what's happening. We're playing the Paderborn Untouchables today. Um, yeah, let's go have a look at the lineups. And this is it. Koja Rojek leads us off with the injury to Asha. He is out uh, for this game. So uh, Rojek comes in. He did well in the final game of the of the season for us. So he, can, he leads us off. It's going to be Drew Campbell batting second in left field. Byron Mills Jr., the catcher, batting over 500 in the regular season. He bats three. Leo Burra on fire. He bats four. He is at second base. Friedendorfer bats five. He's at third base. It is Prade in right field batting six. Rojek at first batting seven. It is Vockel. Uh, in uh, in uh, center field batting eight. Tonus Pepe, who's done really, really well. He's a shortstop, bats nine. Tyler Benninghoff takes a mound for us. Come on, Hoff. We're up against uh, Adalberto Pena in this one. He is a decent pitcher. Uh, he led the league in wins. Uh, ERA of three and a half. A whip of 1.24. War of 2.7. ERA plus of 186. Oh, can we get the better of him? That's the big question here. If we look... The Hoff is the better pitcher according to uh, according to the ratings. Be a nice start to the postseason to get a win against Paderborn, wouldn't it? Of course, the one thing that does leap out at you automatically is the uh, the fire hazard that is the middle of that uh, untouchables order. So let's hope that the Hoff can be a fireman today and extinguish those flames. But we start with uh, we start with the bat in hand. It's going to be Roshek to lead us off. What can he do? A first pitch swing. Roshek grounds it towards third base. He's not going to be quick enough to beat that, and that is the first out of the ball game. Drew Campbell comes in now. He uh, had a really really good regular season for us. Let's see if he can keep that going in the postseason. A full count, and Drew Campbell grounds it to first, and that'll be two away. And it's going to be Byron Mills Jr. now. Two out, no one on, one and two's the count. Can Byron Mills do something? He has looped it into right field, and that is a two-out single for the catch-up. And can Leo Burra now, who is also on fire, can he drive in a run for us? A first pitch swing by Leo. Burra up the middle. Oh, he's done it. Is it a two-out rally? We've got uh, two out, two on for Friedendorfer now. We love a two-out rally. Can Friedendorfer drive in some runs? He does have the ability to go long. Three and one is the count. It's a hitter's count. Can he get on base? Friedendorfer up the middle. Friedendorfer. Is that going to bring Byron Mills Jr. into score? Yes, it is. And from two out, no one on. Friedendorfer delivers the go-ahead run. We're one nil up. We're still two on, two out. And it's Julian Prade coming up to bat now. What can he do? Another first pitch swing. Prade has popped it up, and that'll do it for the top of the first, but we've given ourselves an unlikely lead. And, well, let's see what the Hoff can do with that now. 
Of course, one thing that could possibly benefit us, Friedendorf was on fire now as well, uh, with the gap between this game and the Mainz game, is I'm thinking, could we go half in the first two games? Uh, that, but that would leave Coletti and then one other, who would probably have to be Vindemir, our long reliever, uh, to come in and pitch the, the sort of the last two games if they're required. But I do think, uh, it's just a lead-off double there, Possibly our best chance. I mean, we've got to be a better chance of beating Mites than um, than the team that was sort of top of their division. So I'm thinking maybe we do go Hoff in the first two games as he goes back to back strikeouts. And this brings up, of course, the hot part of the middle of their order. Ian Post comes in to bat for them. One and two's the count. Can we end this innings? And then we'll discuss pitching strategy. Yes, we can. And we end the first with a lead. Excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, Rice Shirts comes in. Now, of course, Kowale is available after his suspension. Um, but I do think as Rice Shirts with a leadoff single. I just think he's been doing a better job for us. So he's been more consistent, even though we know that uh, that Kowale can hit a home run. Um, he doesn't particularly do... He's not consistent enough, I don't think, as uh, Vockel flies out there to left field. And that will be... Roshek's back to first as Tonis Pepe. Now, can we expect him to keep batting at sort of 350-ish? Probably not as he strikes out for two away. And can we get another two-out rally going now as Roshek comes in to bat? First pitch swing from him again, and he gets it up the middle. We love a two-out rally, don't we? And that is another single. Runner goes to second, and it's going to be Drew Campbell with a chance to keep things going for us here. One and two is the count on Drew. And Drew Campbell, has he got it up the middle? Is he going to get there? I don't think he did, even though it looked like he did. That'll end the innings for us. We don't extend the lead. And Hoff comes back out now to face Amake. Again, we're in the hot part of their order. Can Hoff be the fireman? That is popped up. It should be caught out there by Drew Campbell. He's a solid outfielder, and he makes a simple catch. One away. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe we, we sort of throw the Hoff in, in the first two games and see where that leaves us. It's deep. It's caught out there. Really good catch by Drew Campbell. Excellent work, son. Um, yeah, just kind of see where that leaves us. And then if we lose against Mainz, then, I mean, to be honest, let's we weren't particularly expecting to be in a title challenge this year. I think the fact that we've made, we've got the wild card, we're in the playoffs, is more than I was certainly expecting. So I think we've got to play our strongest hand first and see where that where that leaves us. And there we go. And you never know, maybe Chops will come out and surprise us in the postseason. He certainly has ended the season better than he started it. Mills Jr. comes out to bat now. He is one for one today. Full count, and he unfortunately strikes out. And looking at our batting order, we've got a few flames on our side as well now. Leo Bura comes in. One out, no one on. Leo Bura strikes out, and there might be some extinguishing uh, going out in our batting lineup. It's Friedendorfer, who, of course, drove in a run last time up. Two and two's the count. Two out, no one on, and Friedendorfer strikes out as well. And their guy looks like he's, uh, he's getting going now, doesn't he? Hansen comes in to face Benninghoff. One and two to the count. Come on, Hoff. It's a ground ball. Pepe's there. He should have a simple play at first. He does, and that is one away. Brings up Cardozo, who, of course, doubled to lead off the game for them. Oh, and two's the count. This time around, he grounds it to Pepe again, and Pepe over to first. Looked a little low the throw, but got the job done. That is two away now for... Latifi to come in. He is 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2's the count. 2 out. No one on. And the Hoff strikes out another one. Oh, he is looking good today is the Hoff. It's still 1-0 to the Flamingos. We're through 3. And Prade to lead off the 4th. He's 0 for 1 today. A full count. What can our right fielder do? He has been tied in knots there by strike 3. Reichert, who is 1 for 1 today. 3 and 1's the count. Reichert has got a decent piece of it, but straight to right field. And that's two away. And it's going to be Vockel now, who's 0 for 1 today, to try and keep this going for us. Full count, and he draws himself a walk. Well, that's good in a way, and then it gets Pape out of the way this inning, so we can start fresh in the fifth. But can Tonus Pape continue to surprise us? First pitch swing for a wonderful second that I thought it was going into right center, but instead it's going right into right field's glove. And that is the end of the fourth. The top of it anyway, and it's going to be the Hoff to continue now to Ortega, who's 0 for 1 today. 0, 1 and 0 is the count. He has hit that well, but Vockel's there. He should have a simple catch. He does, and that's one out. 
Not, not walking the pitches up either. If only 45 pitches thrown for Hoff. He faces Ian Post now. 0-2 is the count and he gets another strikeout. Oh, the Hoff is looking good. Amake comes in. Two out. No one on. One and one's the count. And Amake, it's big. Vockel's there. I think it's staying in. Vockel is there and he will make the catch. And that ends the fourth. We are still 1-0 up. Roshak to lead us off now. He is one for two today. One of those the count. What can he do to lead us off? He has got it up the middle. And Roshak with the leadoff single. Now we know he's a stealing threat. Let's see what he can do as Drew Campbell comes in. 0 for 2 today. Full count. Drew Campbell has hit it to second. Uh, short stop, sorry. Luckily Roshak was on the move. So there is no play at second. But Drew Campbell is out. Byron Mills Jr. now 1 for 2. 2 and 2 is the count. Mills Jr. strikes out. And it's going to be up to Leo Burra to try and drive in this run from second. He's one for two today. Burra, he has got it through. And that should score Roshak. It's going to score Roshak. He's quick. Burra gets it to the fence. Is it triple territory? No, he slides into second with an RBI double. And we double our lead. It's 2-0 to the Flamingos now. And it's Friedendorfer, who is one for two today with a chance to drive in another run. Another full count. And he gets done by strike three. And that does it for the top of the fifth, but we extend the lead. The Hoff now to Porter, who's 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. That is popped up. It should be caught, is it? Yes, Burra at second base makes the play, and that is 1 away. Lewin comes in now. He's 1 for 1 today. 0 and 2 is the count, and that's another strikeout for Hoff. And it is 2 away in the bottom of the fifth. No one on. Bergman comes in now. He's 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. He has popped it up into left field. Drew Campbell is there, and that'll do it for the fifth. We are still 2-0 up, and are we going to win our first ever postseason game? Of course, the concern is once the bullpen comes in, isn't it? Prade to lead us off. 3 and is the count. Can he get himself a leadoff walk? He can. And that is excellent stuff. Reichert, who is 1-4-2 today. 0-2 oh, is the count, and Reichert strikes out. That's one away. Vockel now to face the new man, who unfortunately looks quite decent still, uh, which is a shame. Let's see what Vockel can do. One and one's the count. One out runner at first. Vockel has grounded at the second. That's a double play, and that should do it. No, just the one. Good job there by uh, Prade sliding into second to break it up. Pape now, who's 0 for 2. Three and one's the count. Can he get himself on base? Pape, no, he sliced it up into right field, and that'll do it for the top of the sixth. Still 2-0 up. The Hoff surely to continue. He does to Hansen, who's 0 for 1. 2 and 2's the count. That's popped up, is it? Vockel's there. He makes a simple catch, and that is one away. Only 64 pitches thrown here. Cardozo, who's 1 for 2. 1 and 1's the count. That's a ground ball. Should be freed by Friedendorfer. He does make the play. And that's two out as Latifi comes in. He's 0 for 2 today. 0 and 1 is the count. Come on, Hoff. That's a popped up. Is it going to drop into a glove? It is. Friedendorf is there. Makes the catch. And that gets us through 6. Still, we are 2-0 up. It's Roshak to lead us off. He's 2 for 3 today. 3 and 1 is the count. Can he get himself on base? Oh, he's muffed it. And that is 1 away. Drew Campbell now. Not having a good day. 0 for 3. Two and two's the count. No one on. Drew Campbell. Oh, Drew Campbell gets a piece of it. That's going to skip to the center field fence. And that should be at least a double for Drew Campbell as he slides into second. A one-out double. And with the best part of our order coming up now, surely we're a chance. Mills Jr., who's one for three today. Can he drive in a run? First pitch swing. They've just put him on. It's Leo Burra now with runners at first and second. Anything but a double play. He's two for three today. We're looking for the double steal. Is he going to get there? Drew Campbell does get there. There goes the force with only one out. Put this in play for us, Burra, and we get another run. Two and O's the count. And they've walked him as well. They've loaded the bases with one out. Friedendorfer. One for three. He does have a home run in him. Just don't strike out. Two and two's the count. Oh, Friedendorfer gets it down into right field. That's going to score one. Is it going to score two? The runner comes around. He slides in and it does score two. A two RBI single for Friedendorfer. It's 4-0 to the Flamingos. And it's Prade now with still one out. Runners at first and second. 0-2. Oh this doesn't look like it's going to end well. Prade watches strike three. 
to bring in Reichert, who's one for three today. Three and oh is the count. Surely he's going to get himself on base. He does. He loads the bases again. This time, though, it's for Vockel. And that's not as dangerous. He's 0 for 2 today. Can he put something in play? Can he draw a walk? He does draw a walk. Oh, they're falling to pieces. It's 5-0 to the Flamingos. And can Tonus Pape do the unlikely and get a hit? He's going to face a new pitcher as well. It's a full count. Just, wa just watch it, Pape. You're not good at hitting anyway. Oh, it is another walk. Pape draws it. It's 6-0 to the Flamingos. And it's Roshek now coming in. He's two for four today. And can he drive in runs? They've walked another one. They are collapsing. Absolutely falling in a heap. It's 7-0 to the Flamingos. Five runs we've scored in the seventh. It's Drew Campbell now who started this innings off with a wonderful hit to the center field fence. And he continues it with a wonderful hit to the left field fence. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. Is it going to score three? No, he holds it third. But it is 9-0 to the Flamingos, and surely, surely, we're going to win this game of baseball. Mills Jr. comes back up, only one for three, a poor day at the plate for him. He strikes out, but seven runs in the seventh, we stretch, and it's a really, really good stretch. I'm enjoying this one. It is 9-0, Benninghoff to continue, only throwing 69 pitches. Artega comes in, 0 for 2 today, full count, and he pops it up. Pepe's there, he should make a catch. He does, and that is one away. Brings up Ian Post, who is 0 for 2. His flame has been extinguished today. Another strikeout of Ian Post. Eight strikeouts now for the half, and it is Emeke coming in to hit. He's 0 for 2 today. One and one's the count. Come on, Hoff. That's up the middle. That's going to be only their third hit of the game. And it's a two-out single for Emeke. Okay, let's see now. We have Porter coming in. First pitch swing. It's only the third base runner, I think. I don't think he's walked anybody, has he, the Hoff? He's done a wonderful job as a Mekke still second. No, no walks, eight strikeouts. So it's only the third base runner. What can he do with Porter? He can sit him down is what he can do. We are six outs away from a win in the postseason. It's Leo Burra to lead us off. Two for three today. Full count on the leadoff man. Burra swings through strike three, and that is one away. It's Friedendorfer now who drove in those runs for us. He has three RBIs today. One and O is the count. And Friedendorfer rips it through the left side of the infield. And that's a one-out single for our third baseman. If only we had another Hoff. You'd just think maybe we could do something. Prade, 0 for 3. Not had a great day. He draws a walk, though. That's two on with one out. Brings up Reichert, who's 1 for 3 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Reichert watches. Strike 3 go past. And Vockel now with two out. What can he do? Gets away from the catcher. That moves everybody on a base. That tenth run is just 90 feet away. Can Vockel drive it in? Two and two. And Vockel strikes out. That'll do it for the top of the eighth. But we go back to work now with Bending Hoff on the mound to face Lewin, who is one for two. One and two is the count. And it's another strikeout for Hoff. The leadoff man sits down. Ten strikeouts now for Bending Hoff. Bergman comes in. He's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 2 is the count. It's a ground ball to Tonis Pape. Should be a simple play over to first. There it is. That's 2 away. We need 4 outs. They need 9 runs. Hansen. 2 out. No one on. 1 and 2 is the count. And Benninghoff sits him down as well for his 11th strikeout of the game. And are we looking at a complete game shutout here for Benninghoff? It's Pape to lead us off. Not had a great day so far at the plate. And that's not going to help it. He goes 0 for 4 with a walk. And that is one away. It brings up Roshak, who has done very well today. Again to face a new pitcher. Two and two's the count. Let's see what he can do. Roshak slaps it into right field. I tell you what, we've got a big decision to make now. He has to stay in the team, doesn't he? Asher, the backup catcher, was uh, the designated hitter. Kowole comes in as we begin to pity hit. And let's see what Kowole can do post-suspension. He strikes out as Roshak steals, uh, Roshak, sorry, steals second for two away. Good to see Jimmy Kowale hasn't uh, improved his form. And it's Byron Mills Jr. now. Let's see what he can do. Mills Jr. pops it up, and that'll do it for our batting. Hopefully, we don't want to see us batting again. That would be a stuff up in the ninth. 
And is it Benninghoff coming out to try and complete this? It is. He's only thrown 98 pitches. He's surely, surely got a big chance of doing this. Cardozo comes in. He's one for three. Two and two's the count. That is ripped into right field. It's going to be a leadoff double. And you just wonder if maybe Benninghoff is, is not going to be able to see this out. It would be a shame. He deserves a complete game shutout. He's going to face Latifi now, who is 0 for 3. 2 and 2 is the count. That gets back up the middle, and you just wonder if this is... Well, that might actually do the shutout. No, it's still it's still there. But, it, well, he's in trouble now. Runners at the corners with no one out. Come on, Hoff. You deserve this, mate. One and 0 is the count. That hit to the fence. There goes the shutout. And, yeah, it's another double. RBI double. Runners at 2nd and 3rd. And it tells you something about how much faith they have in our pitching. Then I just worried a little bit now. Hoff to continue to post who's 0 for 3. 2 and 2's the count. That's up the middle. And I think we need to take Hoff off. He's obviously tired. That is two runs at across the plate now. Still runners at the corners. Still no one out. Hoff to continue to a Mackay. We really just give him a break mate. He's obviously tired. That could be a double. We get the runner at second. But that is it. It is one away now. We do have a way out of this innings. With a double play. It's Porter and it's going to be Samuel Gosh, the closer, coming out now to hopefully do what he's supposed to do and close this thing out. Full count on his first hit up. Do not lose him, mate. Come on, Gosh. There's a strikeout. We're one out away. One out away. Lewin comes in. He's one for three. Can we do this? Oh, and two's the count. Samuel Gosh ends up with a strikeout and we've beaten the Untouchables in the postseason. So the Flamingos stun the Paderborn Untouchables in Game 1 of the Bundesliga Playoffs and we're joined now by the Berlin GM Arzi Villain and Arzi, you must be delighted! Yeah, yeah, thanks mate. Look, I mean obviously, uh, obviously I'm very pleased. I mean I've still got no idea why we were playing Paderborn in the first place but we can only beat what's in front of us. Uh, we certainly did that today. I thought Benninghoff was absolutely different class. What a performance that was. We hit well uh, and we deserved the win. So uh, if we can keep playing like that, we just might ruffle a few feathers yet in these uh, in these playoffs. So there he is. Benninghoff is just the hero of the day. We win our first ever game of postseason baseball against the Untouchables, and we won it well. Now the big question is, can he carry us to a title here? I don't know that he can, um, but he can certainly try. If you have a quick look, at, we do now have a game on the board, so I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. Um... Hopefully, I guess we want uh, two vision to beat Mainz. Uh, we beat Mainz, and then that should be essentially job done. Assuming that the Untouchables can then beat Mainz as well. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if, so if you have any idea if that is how this is going to work, I am absolutely clueless, but I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. It was It's a massive win at the Untouchables. We'll be back next time for the game against Mainz. And if they lose and we beat them, then I'm assuming that we're going to win this thing. We're going to beat them and get into the final, but I'm not completely sure. If you have enjoyed this, do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time as we look to maybe, who knows, book a place in the, in the actual final. Take care.